Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another video. Today I'm sharing how I make these easy beef short ribs. I already washed my produce off camera and I sectioned all of these seasonings. Uh, the recipe didn't actually call for these seasonings, but I didn't feel comfortable just using salt, pepper, and rosemary. I'll have everything listed in the description just in case I forget to say something. I had to really make sure I got all of that onion skin off. I don't want that in my food. But like I mentioned, this is an easy recipe. However, I've been cooking for so long now that I don't measure anything. I can try and guess. It's really just depending on your taste. Some of them are measured because I am following a recipe somewhat, but I will try my best. Okay, now that's done, and yes, I did put the scraps in the garbage disposal. Don't worry, it's fine. I'm patting the meat dry, and then I'm going to add some salt and pepper and sear them on each side for about five minutes. I'm adding olive oil to the pan uh, or pot. You can use uh, vegetable oil or butter. I just decided to use olive oil because I'm going to make these creamy, buttery mashed potatoes to go along with this. I have my phone in my hand a lot because I'm getting the reels for Instagram. Ribby is not here this week, but I'm putting the meat in the pan to start searing it. And this is where I decided to add in some seasonings. I used adobo, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, doing a little dance, uh, chili powder. And I think I also added Italian seasonings and dried rosemary and thyme. I do end up adding two fresh sprigs of rosemary. I like my red meat to taste very herby, if that makes sense. At this point, the rib should look something like this. I did go back and add in some more olive oil because I didn't want it to burn. After that, I'm going to place these on a plate and put them to the side and cook my onions until translucent and then go ahead and add in the celery and carrots. Now I'm adding in the tomato paste, some garlic, extra garlic. Then after this, I'm going to add the red wine and beef stock or beef broth. I can't remember which one I used. One of the two, it's basically the same thing. Then I'm gonna cover it for 15 minutes and let it simmer. I'm adding in brown sugar. You can skip this step if you don't like your food to be a little sweet. I like it that way, so that's why I went ahead and added it in. Okay. 
And while that's simmering, I'm going to get started on the potatoes. Um, I decided to make a creamy, buttery mashed potatoes to go along with this. I just feel like short ribs and mashed potatoes go together so well, but you can do rice or pasta. I don't know about pasta, but definitely rice or mashed potatoes. Now the beef ribs are gonna go into the oven for an hour and a half to start on 350. I have a history of burning things in the oven, so I like to start small and then check on it, and then if it needs more time, I'll put it back in. So in total, I ended up doing about two and a half hours. The potatoes are done, so I'm starting with some half and half butter and sour cream. I also added in some salt and then I'm just using my potato mash to mash everything together. this is what the ribs are looking like out of the oven it wasn't focusing for some reason but it smells so good i went ahead and plated it up and added some green onion and sesame seeds and that is it for this video i hope you all enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and i'll make more like this and i'll talk to you in the next one